Hi guys, I'm Zach here with Kennedy Violins and today I'm here to talk to you about our Brunel Edge electric violins. And I'm just going to do a little bit of an overview of the violins for you today and talk about some of their features. And they do come in three different colors. We have our Rockstar Red and then we also have the Bombshell Blue. And my probably personal favorite is just the standard black one, um, which I think just has a really cool look to it. Um, so from that, uh, they do have piezo pickups. So to talk to you a little bit about the violin, they, they're compatible with every shoulder rest style that you can do because they're shaped just like a standard violin on the back part. Um, but they do have a piezo pickup, and then they're going to have an output jack as well as a headphone jack. So you can use headphones to play with this instrument. Now one thing with using those headphones, this violin is not going to be completely silent. It's a string instrument. It's going to make some noise. Um, it is quieter than an acoustic violin, but it still does make some noise. So if you are trying to use this as a practice instrument, you're gonna to want to use a practice mute on the bridge just to probably take down the sound in the room because it will still make some sound. And that practice mute won't really affect the sound coming through your headphones. Um, but since it is a piezo element, it's not going to have a super natural acoustic sound. It is an electric violin and it's going to have more of that electric sound towards it. Um, you also get the standard uh, the 1 8 inch of headphone jack and then you get the 1 quarter inch uh, output jack that you're going to use to plug into an amp, which uh, we do provide a little practice amp with it. This is kind of meant to be just something to play with in like your room or something like that. Not really a performance amp. Um, it is powered by a 9 volt battery. And that's the other thing with our violin. In order to make that piezo pickup work, you have a 9 volt battery that is going to be uh, stored in here that's easily replaceable. And one super important tip with these, anytime you are done playing, you want to unplug your instrument because by plugging in, it activates the circuit on the instrument and you're just going to have a slow drain on that battery. Um, there's also going to be a volume slider here so you can adjust the volume of your instrument overall. Excuse me, that's on the right. So you've got volume so you can adjust the volume on that. Then you have kind of an EQ for low and high which can help you know if you're getting too much highs out of your amp or something you can cut that or if you're getting too much lows it really does help uh, just give you a quick EQ on that. And of course a lot of these uh, violins are built with fairly traditional materials, so you do have like a maple neck, you have ebony fittings, of course, ebony pegs. Um, this one does get a composite tailpiece, which works really well, especially for performing. You can do quick tuning. And um, then the body is kind of like a more solid body. It's not completely uh, solid all the way throughout. There's some hollowed out material, of course, where the pickup is, but uh, it's going to mean it's a really sturdy instrument and uh, it's going to hold up well to performing or playing if you were touring or something like that. Uh, so pretty traditional construction in some ways and in other ways completely not, of course. Um, and then, of course, we're doing the full setup on these before they go out to you. So you'll have the bridge card to, of course, match the radius of the fingerboard, have the correct plane string height, um, and then, you know, have the strings with space correctly. Um, they're going to, you know, make sure that the fingerboard is completely scooped out correctly and that you'll have the nut at the proper height. So it's going to be all ready to go and play. That's one of the nice things about having luthiers here in shop to work on these instruments. So who is this instrument for? That's another thing that people will ask. This is not going to be something, of course, you're going to be playing in orchestra or really probably a classical setting. However, it is really great for someone who wants to experiment with their sound a lot. Uh, if they're plan planning to play different styles of music, such as rock or anything else like that. Maybe if you're playing to a live audience and you don't really want to deal with feedback issues that could be caused from a pickup or a miking, an acoustic instrument, that can also be something where they come in really handy. And, you know, really for these for the price point on these, you know, there are electric violins that are over $1,000 and I really feel like you almost have to spend in that range to really beat something like this out. I've actually played on gigs where I've been playing bass and violins has used uh, the Arbanel Edge and it sounds great in a performance setting. I think, you know, one of the things you can do, of course, is to eventually upgrade your amp. You know, you want something that's going to be more of a performance level amp. Also, you can uh, get different types of preamps to really accue the sound and also effects make a huge difference. So you can really kind of tool your sound
sound to what you want. Um, you add distortion, you know, you can add effects, you have delay and phaser, whatever you want. Um, it works really great with any effects that work for a guitar. So it doesn't have to be a violin specific effect. You can get pedals for any guitar and it's going to work great with the violin. Um, these also can be strung up as violas. You can get 14 inch viola strings and they work great. Uh, you can just have a little deeper, lower sound if that's something you want register wise. We've also experimented with them with the helicore octave strings, which sound an octave lower below the normal violin pitch. And they sound fantastic with that. So it's going to be for someone who really wants to get a more modern sound, really have fun playing with effects and get into that type of gear. Uh, it's maybe not going to be uh, always the best as something that's just going to be like a silent practice instrument, as I said. They are still going to make some noise, and if you're really looking for that acoustic sound, um, you know, it might just be better to get a practice mute on an acoustic instrument. But that said, we've had a lot of people get these and use them as kind of their practice instrument, and they say they really like them for that. Just, uh, it's going to work really well for some people, just you got to know it's going to have a little bit more of that electric sound. So now I'll talk a little bit about the uh, outfit that it comes with. So of course, like I mentioned, you do get the headphones. You're going to get an instrument cable to allow you to plug your violin out into an amp. Um, and you also get an amp, which is included. Um, this amp is powered by a 9-volt battery. You can get a DC cord that can be plugged in so that you can use it just by plugging it into the wall. But it's not really a, a performance amp. It's just something we call practice amp. It's meant to get you a little sound. It also has a cool little uh, feature where you can run it clean or with distortion. So that's kind of a cool little feature. And then, of course, it comes with a Brazilian bow. It comes with our oblong case. And you get the usual accessories like a polishing cloth, backup strings, luggage tag, things like that. One thing that it doesn't come with is a short rest. So if this is going to be your primary instrument or you want to just have a short rest to keep in your case, you're going to want to add a short rest to one of these. Um, but if you have like any questions about the violins, about uh, the other violins that we carry, of course you can give us a call and we can help you decide which violin is going to be the best fit for you. Um, we do offer a really cool range of electric instruments and we'd be happy to chat with you about them. Just give us a call because we're all string players and musicians here, so we'd be happy to help.